Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the same correctional facility that CRA audits and Big West audits was arrest were arrested at a couple weeks ago, as Jim City News attempts some payback audits, but ends up cowering out himself before they come to arrest him too. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Jim fam. We're here at the Allen Oakwood Correctional Facility. We got Old Glory flying in the breeze up there. And uh, this is a revenge audit. We're with Captain Justice today. He hasn't seen you in a while. Nice to see everybody. Authorized vehicles only. We're not a vehicle. And yet you are still clueless, as you will find out later on when you are told that you're not supposed to be filming any part of the prison. Looks like a pretty nice place, pretty quiet. Go over here and read some of these signs. Sir, what are you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm... Why not? Here. Sure, I can. No, you can. Yeah, I can. No, you can. Yeah, I called ahead and told him I was coming. I really doubt you called ahead. Seriously, dude, you're not that smart. I called the state patrol, told him I'd be here. I just stopped there, told him I'd be here. I can film. It's okay. Okay, see, it says state law prohibits the conveyance or attempted conveyance of the following items onto the grounds of this prison. Any deadly weapons? I have none. Any drugs? I have none. No liquor. I have no cash. Right? So, I don't get it. Delivery or attempted delivery of any of the above listed items or any of the following items to an inmate in this prison. Cash, cellular phone, or other electronic communication device. Well, I'm not trying to give up my phone. Yeah, that's what you say now. But once you enter one of these facilities, the prisoners have a way of talking circles around you so you can so you'll give up anything that they want you to give up without any violence. All right. If we look down here, it has a thing about guns. I don't have any guns. No guns, no tobacco, nothing, right? Except for that cell phone that you're recording with, which is considered to be contraband in that prison because of it, the communication device that the prisoners can use to contact the outside world and start intimidating people or whatever they need to do with it. Are you that Dance. Oh, they're getting quite stirred up today, guys. I think we've already been through all of this. Old CRA was up here, and they slammed him to the ground. Oh, I'll put my glasses on for this one. Oh, look at the grasshopper here. Anyway, Ed Sheldon, right? Uh, this is something about the lock shop, but it does tell me that Ed Sheldon is the de uh, warden, right? So then we could inquire with Ed Sheldon why we're not allowed to film the publicly accessible areas at a state facility that we fund and we pay for. Oh, I don't know. Could it have something to do with this place being a housing facility to place people who can't function in societies by society's rules and regulations and who get tend to get violent 
and have done all sorts of nasty things. I mean, could it be that? Oh, I don't know. Right. It says visitors do not bring phones into the building. Possession and or use of cell phones and or wireless. Well, I guess we better get that. Back it up a little bit. And wireless devices and premises are prohibited. These devices are monitored and identified. Hmm. If it's authorized by the warden, it's exempt. So. It was at this point he decided not to push it any further. So he decides to leave, but not before a couple highway patrolmen stop him at the front entrance. Uh oh. Howdy. I wasn't sure if this was a footpath or a driveway. I, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to drive up there or walk up there to look at that thing. Oh, uh, no, this. Yeah, you can. Right well, it's a little narrow, you know what I mean? So it could be a footpath and they don't want you. And they sure seem to be cranky over there. I don't get it. <laughs> no, nah, but... Yeah, you can, go, you can go check out the uh, memorial there if you want. So. Well, the way I understood it, when I called on the telephone to the Ohio State Patrol office, yeah. as well as this place, I was okay to come up here to the public accessible areas anyway. Yeah, so you just can't... You but can't... he sure got angry. I don't know why. He wouldn't even talk to me. Up to the... I'm saying if you, if you get up to the front, like where you can see the prison, you can't videotape the prison. Oh, I, I didn't. Liar! I, I videotaped in a publicly accessible area. Show, Liar! Show my viewers what the signs are, right? Uh, there was some confusion here the other day. And an auditor was thrown to the ground and his phone was taken and all sorts of stuff, you know. Um... Certainly, I know, being older, I think I'm older than those fellows, <laughs> but I know not to get near that fence. Yeah, I'm right? going to stay back and then, well, yeah. I mean, wherever, you can't be videotaping the prison at all, okay? So, um... What do you mean? Like, you can't, you can't videotape the prison, like, any part of the prison, and that's, you know, you're back. That's why they keep it off the road. So, if you want to be back, back away, like you said, um, publicly accessible... And you can and you can videotape whatever you want. Yeah, that's but why I thought it'd be okay at the visitor center. No, you can't be up up front and, and videotaping. That's why they have the signs there. Well, there was nothing that said anything about. They said I can't videotape inside the visitor center. Can't take a phone inside the visitor yeah, center. Yeah, right here there's two there's two signs posted. No photos or videos beyond this point. Yeah. So if you want if you want to hang out here, hmm. you're more than welcome to. But you can't. I mean, those are about as conspicuous as they come, and you can't they, video. Yeah, video they're a little, that. they're a little small. I did, I got to admit, I, I missed that one. But, it, for, so, to yeah. be honest, I did miss yeah. that one. But, but other than but that, but it's okay to walk up here. Yeah, if you want to go check out that, but. Well, I'd like to. Yeah. I mean, that's what I came for. Liar! No, you're more than welcome to. So it's just a little memorial. They just yeah. actually, this used to be the little drive up to the wardens. Um, quarters. There used to be a house oh, wow. that's up there, and then they redid it and kind of did their little memorial thing. But yeah, boy, why would you want to be a warden if you have to live at the prison? <laughs> you know what I mean? Too. So, but yeah, you're more than welcome to go check it out and do everything. But you just can't videotape past those two signs right there, okay? Okay. So, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Sergeant. Yep. Have a good one. Oh boy, those two boy patrolmen were real tyrants, filled with piss and vinegar weren't they? But in all due seriousness, it should be blatantly obvious why you can't take any of that stuff in or around or near the prison. But I guess common sense doesn't come with you frauditors anyway.